Welcome to Union Presbyterian Church Online. You can turn on closed captioning for this time of worship by clicking on the CC on your YouTube video. If you're using a smaller device, you can click on the three dots to find the CC option. Welcome. Welcome to this ongoing Christmas celebration. There is good news of great joy for all. It's the day after Boxing Day, and the happy mess of Christmas remains. Our Savior is born, the Messiah, the Lord. A child has been born to us. Glory to God in the highest, and we are God's witnesses. Thank you for continuing with us on this Christmas journey. O oh Lord, our God, we give you thanks for the wonder and love you offer us. Your word made flesh among us, a child and a savior born to us. Good news and great joy to all. By your spirit's power, let us give you glory and live as your beloved children. Glory to God in the highest. The grace of God has appeared, bringing salvation to all and calling us to renounce what is evil in this world. Let us turn to God for healing. Let us pray. God of grace and truth, in Jesus Christ you came among us as light shining in the darkness. We confess that we have not welcomed the light or trusted good news to be good. We have closed our eyes to glory in our midst, expecting little and hoping for less. Disrupt our doubt, God of love, and renew our hope so that we may receive the fullness of grace upon grace and live in the joy of Christ the Lord. We pause now for a time of silent prayer. We are grateful that neither death nor life, nor present things, nor things to come, 
nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. Through the power of the Holy Spirit, thanks be to God. Amen. Let us share the peace with one another. The Psalter reading today is Psalm 148. Hallelujah! Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise God in the heights. Praise the Lord, all you angels. Praise the Lord, all you hosts of heaven. Praise the Lord, sun and moon. Sing praise, all you shining stars. Praise the Lord, heavens of heavens, and you waters above the heavens. Let them praise the name of the Lord, who commanded and they were created, who made them stand fast forever and ever, giving them a law which shall not pass away. Praise the Lord from the earth, you sea monsters in all deeps, fire and hail, snow and fog, tempestuous wind, doing God's will, mountains and all hills, fruit trees and all cedars, wild beasts and all cattle, creeping things and flying birds, sovereigns of the earth and all peoples, princes and all rulers of the world, young men and maidens, old and young together. Let them praise the name of the Lord, whose name only is exalted, whose splendor is over earth and heaven. The Lord was, has raised up strength for the people and praise for all faithful servants, the children of Israel, a people who are near the Lord. Hallelujah. Good morning. It is so good to see you here. Merry Christmas. Did you have a wonderful Christmas celebration? Did you have an okay Christmas celebration? Was it a little different this year? I think for a lot of us, this was a very different Christmas time than we're used to. We might have been able to see friends and family that we didn't get to see this year. And that can be really hard. But Christmas came because God's love for us is always with us. So we got to celebrate that by celebrating the birth of Jesus. Our Bible story this morning is one you might not know because we only hear it every three years in church. It's a story about Simeon and Anna. And Simeon and Anna are maybe your grandparents' age, or maybe pretty much older than your grandparents' age. Uh, We know Anna is 84, and we know Simeon is up there too. So, but they run into Mary and Joseph and Jesus just a month after Jesus was born. They run into him. Well, it would be like meeting somebody at church, except they're at the temple. And when they see Jesus, they both know that he is the child they have been waiting for. They know that he is here to fulfill God's promise to us, to be here with us, to be God with us. Simeon and Anna have been thinking about all the things that happened in the past, but they're also thinking about all the things that are going to happen in the future. 
And a lot of us do that at New Year's time. It's still Christmas, but in a few days, it's going to be New Year's Day. Does your family do anything special for that big celebration? Do you write down or say out loud things that you want to do in the new year? Anna and Simeon always had pretty much one thing they wanted to do. They were waiting for God to show them something wonderful. I think we could all put that on our lists, too, for the new year. Wait for God to show me something wonderful. I think that's a great New Year's resolution or intention. I have a coloring sheet that I am sending to you. And it's all about 2021. It's about the new year. And it says, hopes, dreams, goals, and intentions. And there's a space to write them in. And there's lots of designs for you to color in as well. So I'm going to send that to you. And I'm going to encourage you to think about what you might want to think about for next year. Your hopes, your dreams, the things you want to accomplish, your goals, and your intentions. And maybe somewhere on here, you'll write, wait for God to show me something wonderful. Let's have a prayer. Dear God, thank you for Christmas and for our celebration of the birth of Jesus. Help us to look forward to the new year, 2021, as a year when you will do something wonderful. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. I'm really glad you're here today. I hope you keep enjoying this Christmas season and have fun with your family, with the people you love, and I'll see you soon. This morning, we read the last portion of Luke's stories surrounding the birth of Jesus, the presentation of the holy child in the temple, and the witnesses of that moment. A reading from the Gospel according to Luke, beginning at chapter 2, verse 22. When the time came for their purification according to the law of Moses, they brought Jesus up to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord. As it is written in the law of the Lord, every firstborn male shall be designated as holy to the Lord. And they offered a sacrifice according to what is stated in the law of the Lord, a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons. Now there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon. This man was righteous and devout, looking forward to the consolation of Israel, and the Holy Spirit rested upon him. It had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he would not see death before he had seen the Lord's Messiah. Guided by the Spirit, Simeon came to the temple, and when the parents brought in the child Jesus to do for him what was customary under the law, Simeon took him in his arms and praised God, saying, Master, now you are dismissing your servant in peace according to your word, for my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared in the presence of all peoples, a light for revelation to the Gentiles and for glory to your people Israel. And the child's father and mother were amazed at what was being said about him. Then Simeon blessed them and said to his mother Mary, This child is destined for the falling and the rising of many in Israel, and to be a sign that will be opposed so that the inner thoughts of many will be revealed. And a sword will pierce your own soul, too. 
there was also a prophet, Anna, the daughter of Phanuel of the tribe of Asher. She was of a great age, having lived with her husband seven years after marriage, then as a widow to the age of 84. She never left the temple, but worshipped there with fasting and prayer night and day. At that moment, she came and began to praise God and to speak about the child to all who were looking for the redemption of Jerusalem. When they had finished everything required by the law of the Lord, they returned to Galilee, to their own town of Nazareth. The child grew and became strong, filled with wisdom, and the favor of God was upon him. Holy Wisdom Holy Word. Thanks be to God. The month of January was named by the ancient Romans for the god Janus, the god of beginnings and endings, and also the god, therefore, of transitions, gateways, doorways, and time. Janus was the god who looked both backwards and forwards, so he was depicted as having two faces, so that he could do both at the same time. Looking back and looking forward is what we do at this time of year. We look back at the year gone by. Critics will offer up their list of the best movies, but in a year in which we stopped being able to go to movie theaters, those lists will feel strange. Looking back on 2020 will, by force, have a far more somber tone than we would have hoped, as bound up as the entire span was in the pandemic that raged through the world and continues to rage through our own nation and communities. What will our own lists look like? The ones on which we usually say, lose weight, start exercising, read more books. My guess is that this year, more of us will write things like, Say I love you every chance I get, and see friends and family as often as humanly possible. The media we consume are already beginning to provide us with photographs and biographies of the famous and infamous people who died this year. People taken all too soon, like basketball wonder Kobe Bryant and his daughter, 13-year-old Gianna, like Chadwick Boseman, the iconic star of Black Panther, like rocker Eddie Van Halen, and like Naya Rivera, who broke our hearts on glee and then broke our hearts again when she died while out boating with her four-year-old son. We will miss our favorite brainy game show host, Alex Trebek. And there are the people who were, as scripture would put it, full of years, like Charlie Pride, and Ruth Bader Ginsburg, and Sir Sean Connery, and Dame Diana Rigg, civil rights leader John Lewis. And of course, we will also remember our own heroes and heroines who went before us, family members, beloved friends, people who, when we were with them, we were home. And those who have succumbed to COVID-19. As I write this, our families, friends, and neighbors throughout the United States have lost 320,000 loved ones to this devastating pandemic. And as you know, we are in the midst of a sharp spike in cases. 320,000 moms, dads, grandparents, sisters, brothers, children, cousins, partners, and friends, a year like no other, at least in our lifetimes. Have you ever wondered why this time of looking back and looking forward is most commonly celebrated by getting good and drunk? I'm thinking this year, no one is asking why. There are many painful realities that will still be with us as we transition into the new year. The vaccines are here, but... COVID isn't going anywhere just yet. And as you already know, looking back can draw a sharp red line under the pain that only seems to increase the ache. Thus, the impulse to deny it, 
cover it up with a celebration whose main feature seems to be not being able to remember much the next day. We are looking back, but we are also looking forward. And as we do so, we can look to Simeon and Anna, whose eyes are trained to look for the fullness of the promises of God. When we meet Simeon, we are told he is a man righteous and devout and looking forward to the consolation of Israel. Simeon looks back and he sees the pain, the story of the struggles of God's people. But Simeon looks forward as well. He looks forward to God's consolation. That word consolation is from a Greek word meaning calling near. Simeon is looking forward to a time when all God's people will know that God walks beside them and hears their cries and pleas and calls for help. You can make the argument that Simeon is looking forward to the coming of a Messiah. Simeon sees that consolation in the flesh when he sees the infant Jesus carried into the temple for a ritual of dedication by an unsuspecting Mary and Joseph. Anna, too, looks back on a life with its share of pain. She and her husband had just seven short years together, and she's lived the rest of her life, 50 years or more, in the temple. Anna is a prophet, and that means she's a truth teller. Anna's truth is that she spends all her days wishing and hoping and thinking and praying to God, looking forward to that time when the balm and healing of God will pour down upon her and upon all of God's hurting children. Anna sees Jesus and her wishes and hopes and thoughts and prayers are all answered. Here is that healing balm of God. Both Anna and Simeon look back and see in the past not just the pain, but also the joy. They see both pain and joy in the future as well, in their own lives and in the life of this tiny child, still in the arms of his parents. We hear Simeon's words to Mary and we gulp. Is it okay to say that to a new mother? But this is not just the very real and human story of the life of Jesus unfolding. It's the story of scripture, too. As we tell the story, we tell it all. We don't leave out the painful bits or the traumas, and we don't leave out the joys and the beauty. We try to tell the truth and tell it whole. Looking back and looking forward, Like Anna and Simeon, we are here in the midst of both a pandemic and the still beautiful celebration of Jesus' birth, God's consolation, God's drawing near to frail and fragile humanity. We have called, and God has come. My eyes have seen your salvation, Simeon says. Salvation for all people, a light for all of us, every last one. I have seen it all because God's consolation is for all. God's promise of consolation is not about holiness or worthiness or praying hard enough. God's consolation, God's healing is a gift we can bring with us as the new year dawns. Thanks be to God. Amen.
In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, let us pray for the life of the world, saying, O Christ, our light, hear our prayer. We pray for the church. With Mary, help us to treasure and ponder the gift that has been given to us, a gift of good news and great joy for all. O Christ, our light, hear our prayer. We pray for the world. With the prophets, help us to proclaim the promise of your peace for all nations and your justice for all people. O Christ, our light, hear our prayer. We pray for this community. With the shepherds, help us to keep watch over those entrusted to our care and all who need protection by day and by night. O Christ, our light, hear our prayer. We pray for loved ones. With the angels, help us to offer signs of hope, comfort, and joy for all who live in fear. O Christ, our light, hear our prayer. Lord Jesus Christ, hope of the world, help us to bear witness to your light so that all may trust and have life in you. In your holy name we pray as you have taught us, debtors, trespassers, and sinners together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Straight shall be what long was crooked, and the rougher places plain. Let your hearts be true and humble, as befits God's holy reign. See the token that God's word is never broken. From the fullness of God, we have all received grace upon grace. Christmas is an invitation to a grace filled life for us and for all God's children. We want to be a part of it. Let us pray. God of angel song and shepherd awe, of deep wisdom and wrinkled faces, and love that makes us new again, we offer you our gifts this day. We ask that you would bless them and multiply them, give them life and purpose. Let us be a part of the miracle that you have brought into the world by the wonders of your love. Amen. Rejoice with heart and soul and voice. If ye heed to what we say, Jesus Christ is born today. Hearts and us before him bow, and he is in the manger now. Christ is born today. Christ is born today. Good Christian friends, rejoice with heart and soul and voice. Now ye hear of endless bliss, Jesus Christ was born for this. He has opened heaven's door, and we are blessed forevermore. Christ was born for this, Christ was born for this. Good Christian friends, rejoice with heart and soul and voice. Now ye need not fear the grave. Jesus.
Jesus Christ was born to save, calls you one and calls you all to gain his everlasting hall. Christ was born to save, Christ was born to save. Go into the rest of this day and week. Have courage. Hold fast to what is good. Return no one evil for evil. Strengthen the faint-hearted. Support the weak. Help the suffering. Honor all people. Love and serve the Lord your God, rejoicing in the power of the Holy Spirit. And may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit be with each and all of us this day and forevermore. Emmanuel, God is with us. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Amen.